Welcome to Selika Mag. Today's tutorial about how to make cowl neck uh, top. Uh, even beginner can uh, easily make this easy top. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to cut um, stitch and even how to make, uh, do the pressing. Um, so first I am using uh, this basic pattern. If you don't know how to make this pattern, I will give a link in the description. So you can use this uh, pattern according to that uh, instruction and the uh, length is uh, depend that uh, if you are making a top or a full dress so here i am using um, at least uh, one inch less than my hip line so this is the um, length i am making for this top but you can uh, increase or decrease your uh, the length of your top according to your requirement so first thing is fold the fabric and pin up it and just mark according to your pattern uh, as we uh, did in the simple top so after marking just uh, i'm quickly cutting here uh, so guys if you like this video please uh, don't forget to uh, thumbs up and uh, give me your feedback and see i'm just marking here and if you are first time here uh, please don't forget to subscribe as well and uh, see i just mark here now i'm just quickly cutting here this is the back side of my top and then after that I will show you how to cut the front side so now I'm uh, cutting I'm going to cut my front side this is again two fold fabric and I just place my um, back side something like this that here the five inches is a difference is here on the neckline my back neckline is also the five inches width a total of five inches width so here i am taking double of uh, that because when it open it it become 10 so it depends uh, you can even increase it more if you want uh, more depth uh, for your neckline but uh, usually five or six inches is enough here and i'm placing my uh, pet um, this back side uh, I'm using this back side as a pattern so I'm placing it a little you can see uh, uh, this shape uh, I'm not uh, putting it straight so because here we need this fabric for the um, uh, neckline cowl neckline so here I'm going to cut from here straight so just mark here and um, this is a bit uh, slant line here so i'm just going to mark here the slant line and after that um the armhole and the fitting line i will trace here and then the cut uh, then i will cut this pattern so guys here uh, i just adjust my all my pattern on uh, this back side for cutting the uh, front side this front is uh, you can see on this side this is the close side of my fabric and i'm just going to mark here and uh, if if you have enough fabric you can even uh, uh, place your fabric in a triangle shape for the front part only so you will get more fall so now just mark the fitting lines and add the uh, seam allowances and all these things and just uh, cut your pattern so after cutting this uh, front part I will show you how you can stitch here see um, before mo moving further just mark your uh, shoulder line so you know that uh, from where you have to join your shoulder with the shoulder so let me show you how you can mark this part and uh, see I just cut this pattern and after that here I'm just going to mark the shoulder line uh, shoulder point so this is the point where my um, fr uh, front shoulder and back shoulder will join so here also I'm just uh, cutting a little um, uh, cut here so I will know that uh, what is the point where I should stitch it now open your back part and the front part place it in a way that right side on the right side so you will get the wrong side for the stitching and uh, see I'm just placing it this is my back side and this, this is my front side and here I will uh, stitch the shoulder line. So 
better if you pin up it but before attaching the shoulders it is uh, important that you first finish the neckline um, if you don't know how to finish a neckline or uh, with a bias binding you can check my uh, video how to uh, make a, a neckline with bias binding I will give a link in the des uh, description and uh, as I don't uh, I'm not going to use this uh, um, top so I'm not finishing my neckline but at this stage first you have to stitch this uh, front side you can see this is the front side neckline first um, you can fold it like this or you can make a bias bending here and then attach these shoulders hope you understand my point um, I'm assuming that you know the basic stitching so that's why I'm doing it a little bit fast forward more uh, but if you want a more detailed tutorial I, I can make um, another tutorial so just let me know if you can understand or uh, give me your feedback in the comment see here if your fabric is very thin and uh, something uh, like this fabric so I place a piece of uh, paper here so I can easily stitch with my machine double lock on edges and uh, you can see like chiffon and any fabric i uh, you can get a perfect stitch if you place a piece of fabric um, under your um, fab, uh, under your fabric so this is a tip that uh, you sh uh, you should um, use while you are um, working with the delicate fabrics so again just uh, i'm uh, stitching the other shoulder line and you can see from till here this cut that to be marked so I'm just going to stitch here and guys uh, if you like this video please thumbs up and uh, give me your feedback that is very important so now uh, here um, also I just uh, double lock here and now my shoulders are attached now I'm going to stitch my uh, fitting lines so for fitting lines i already marked here the fitting line uh, again on the starting you need to double lock here and you can stitch in a way if uh, because this is the top uh, only till my hip length but uh, if it's a full dress you can uh, stitch according to that or if you want a slit so it's all uh, designing part here so for on the um waistline you can you should make a um, pointy shape down your needle and uh, uh, turn your fabric and this way you will get a pointed shape on your uh, waistline because we want a perfect uh, shape on our waistline so um, now next is um, just uh, um, stitch the other side and you can see this these are the shoulders and uh, this is the side uh, fitting lines so our top is almost done you can um, finish the armholes and even if you want to attach the sleeve you can attach the sleeves and now uh, I will show you how you can iron it so um, guys uh, for iron you need a, a steam uh, you should uh, adjust your iron on the steam and just uh, uh, do the shoulder reg as a regular pressing but for this cowl neck you need to um, give only uh, it a steam because we want a fall if you um, press it um, it will uh, it will become like crease and all these things we don't want here the crease we we want here a freestyle falling so that's why you just need to give it a, a steam uh, um, with a little bit uh, difference uh, I mean hold your iron and then just give it a steam so in this way you can easily and perfectly do your uh, uh, cowl neck uh, pressing so guys hope you like this video and uh, if any question any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if you are first time here please don't forget to subscribe and hit a like button uh, I know some people don't uh, want to hear me to say the subscribe subscribe but uh, anyway this is only the payback that you can give me your response so thank you for watching and take care bye bye